everyone so now let's do a small network implementation in this project we are having the small network okay so let's do here what we will do we will use 2811 router and i will take two switch this is a small network okay what we are doing we are implementing a small network and this is basic only basic setup we are implementing a small network okay so this is a setup what we can say this is a topology let me make the connectivity so you will have the idea about that one so what we have here we have one router two switch we have two different network we need to make the communication between two different network okay with the help of a router we are going to do that one and let me rename here let me rename this one as a r1 and this as a switch sw1 and this one as a sw2 okay so let me keep this here this here okay let me yeah this way or yeah this way is okay anyhow we can see the name so let me write like this so what i will do here i will write the network 192.168.1.1 and this site i will take 192.168.2.1 okay this is a implementation of a small network implementation of a, a small network and let me assign the ip manually 192.168.1.2 this is a label now i am going to assign the ip inside the machine so let me assign and here we need to get the give the gateway ip 1.1 .1, that is a router interface okay and here i will write 1.3 i will copy and i will paste here let me write here this and the gateway should be 1.1 .1. okay 1.1 .1. and here this is a different thing what we can say this should be the 2.2 .2 because this is different network so let me go and assign that one okay and here the gateway will be 2.1 and here also i will go and write here 2.3 then we will go inside give desktop and write here 2.1 here okay so now we will do the basic setup if you need i will do the configuration in the notepad we will write here this is a lab for implementing a small network okay network setup whatever you want to write you can write implementing a small network so let me write here r1 configuration r1 configuration okay so we need to do here r1 configuration regarding the switch no need to do anything for switch okay no need to do anything about the switch because this is a basic thing so no need to do we can say implement implementing i wrote or if you want maybe you are uh, confused we can say implement also like this our wish whatever name you want to give you can give implement a small network setup or anything after that i will write here r1 configuration enable config t host name r1 okay and after that interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 we have here fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here ip address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shirt interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shirt okay so this is the basic configuration for the r1 that's all and i will paste this here inside the cli of the r1 let me write here first no after that i will paste the configuration if you see everything is good let me save the configuration and you can write show ip interface brief and you can check the ip if you see here we have something issue here maybe something wrong what we done here something wrong here if you see what we done here in the configuration we told interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 we give ip this one 
okay if you see here we wrote f0 by 0 and here also f0 by 0 that's why this is the issue if you see here this should be f0 by 1 okay so what we can do we can remove that one so i will write i will log in here interface pass ethernet 0 by 0 no ip address with this one i will remove the ip address if you want we can check also do show ip interface brief so now we don't have any ip now we can copy paste this configuration okay let me paste this configuration inside the cli of this one CLI of the router if you see now everything is good let me cross check show IP interface brief so now it is good okay now we can check our PC can access the file server or web server or not first of all let me ping we can ping or not the server what is IP of the server server IP is 192.168.2.2 okay I am pinging from here to here and we need to check it is working or not okay if you see I am sending the packet from here to like this way it will come this way first some some packets will be dropped because of the ARP from here to here after that it will work if you see this one is working before there is a STP something that's why it is not working let me ping again and check that one it is working now okay this is a small network implementation and if you want to access the web server this one you can access the web server also go to the browser and write the ip 192.168.2.2 and press the enter you can access the website okay so your web server is also working if you see this web server is http only http that is a port 80 you need to remember port 80 is nothing but http http okay and you have port 443 that is https okay and if you want to do that one also you can do what you can do you can go here and write https and press here go or open new one and write here https back colon 192.168.2.2 and press enter so this server is listening on both ports if you see here HTTPS that is a port number 443 443 and also port number 80 so this server is hosting a website on two ports same website on two port 443 and port 80 if you want to disable you can disable also okay if you want to disable you can go here let me show you you can go here in the services if you see here where is the http this is the http okay if you click this one you have the http on and also https also on if you off this one okay if you off this one then you cannot access https okay or let me do this one http i will disable i put off http now you can try to access before it is working now it will not work http that is port 80 it will not work if you see this is a port 80 if you see http that is a port 80 http is nothing but port 80 https is nothing but port 443 okay so what we can say here request timeout why because we disable that one this server is not working on port 80 but if i do here https and press enter it will work that server is working in the port 443 so you need to remember http is nothing but port 80 and if you have https https then that is a port 443 port 443 okay so what else we can say we can say that generally in the load balancing FILTM what we are going to do we will uh, enable the port 80 from this side imagine if you have your server imagine this is a f5 okay f5 so from traffic coming from here to here that will be on port 443 and here we will keep this one port 80 okay in the real scenario we will do that one for the f5 load balancer okay big ip big ip ltm 
traffic load balancing okay anyhow no problem if you don't know fi this is a implementation of a small network okay thank you bye